Well, again, uh, you get a new radio, it's like a box of chocolates. You're never sure what you're going to get. In this case, we have an Ameritron ALS 500M. Uh, the earlier version of the uh, solid state mobile power supply does not have the uh, remote uh, tuning feature. This is a Maritron on it, but all these little circuit boards all say 1995 MFJ. Oh, over and over again. 1995 MFJ. So I think that pretty much uh, dates it. At least uh, these all say revision one. Uh, this may have been made uh, a couple of years later. We don't know. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, these are the things that are famous for uh, having pretty dicey uh, quality control. So the guys who have them and have them sorted like them, but a lot of guys have bought them new and sent them back two or three times because the quality control in the, constru in the construction was simply non-existent. So I figured before I put any power to this thing, I was going to go through and have a good look at it and uh, just look for a lot of cold solder joints and that kind of thing. Uh, so far, uh, everything looks pretty good. I'm seeing a lot of little solder splatters and stuff on this board from when they made it. But uh, I haven't seen any crusty um, solder joints yet, but I'm going to look at everything very closely. Let's get some more light on this thing. And it's got the original uh, Toshiba transistors in it. And we're not seeing any burn components yet. And, uh, plenty of flux and crud on the board here, so I think we'll go through and uh, gonna clean everything uh, with a damp rag, and then we'll, I think, take a. Uh, magnifying glass and to just look at everything. I think this is the uh, 10 meter board here on the top so that's uh, that's good. Let's look at the relay context. Look okay. Famous little MFJ switches. I I don't know. You can't look at these little plastic switches and tell anything about them. So, but uh, they seem to love them. They put them in all everything, your antenna tuners and and everything. But uh, <laughs> anyhow. Uh, this is the whole cooling for the whole thing, this little fan right here. And uh, an 11.1 amp at 12 volts. That's a whole 12 or 13 watt fan. And that, I guess, I don't know if it blows or sucks, but uh, I guess it draws the air in through the heat sink and out the other side or blows it in and blows it out the heat sink but that one little fan has to pressurize this whole thing and uh, dissipate 500 watts of heat because uh, linear amplifier is 50% uh, efficient so if you got four or five hundred watts of output you got four or five hundred watts of heat <laughs> as well and uh, I don't know if that's supposed to do it uh, I don't know. not with much of a duty cycle I would I would sure be wanting more fan than that but anyhow I'm not here to uh, worry about their design I'm just uh, here to try to uh, clean it and test it and make it work 
So that's uh, that's what we got for a first look on this uh, thing. What I'm doing right now, taking my little dental pick and cleaning out all the flux on these traces. Just cleaning this up because this is this is ugly. So after about an hour of uh, cleaning the spaces between the traces uh, of flux with uh, a dental pick and uh, uh, rubbing alcohol in the paper towels, uh, we've got this PA board, final amplifier board, uh, looking considerably more acceptable. Uh, most all of the flux off of here. A lot of these uh, spaces here. Um, whoopsie. A lot of these spaces here were completely full of flux. Just everything completely full. You couldn't see where the traces were, so you couldn't tell if the soldering had been any good or not. So anyway, we got most of that cleaned up. And uh, now you can look at how the uh, the devices are soldered to the board, and uh, etc. And we just took uh, rubbing alcohol and water, and uh, got in here and just gave this all a little once over. It didn't do much on this uh, this board. I think this just got wiped with uh, damp paper towel and. Uh, Um, soapy water, but anyway, considerably, uh, considerably better. So now, what we'll do is we'll make up the uh, the uh, 12 volt control wire that uh, goes on one of these uh, tabs, and uh, uh, the power wires and the ground wires that go on there, the, the negative uh, supply voltage wires, make up heavy cables and. Fuses, and uh, we'll give this thing f maybe five watts of drive uh, uh, into a dummy load with a watt meter. Uh, put, I think we'll put a uh, an SW bridge on the input and on the uh, on the output, and uh, see what it looks like. Uh, make sure it functions with no drive, uh, fan, and the keying circuit, and we'll got to work up a uh, keying. Uh, Keying scheme with the uh, whatever transceiver we're going to use to drive it, and uh, see what uh, kind of smoke it will make. Well, every now and then it's uh, nice when something works the way it's supposed to, and uh, that's what we got here. <coughs> got uh, the old uh, Swan SS200. Uh, driving the uh, Maritron AL S500 uh, using the little Maritron interface box to uh, key the amplifier. And uh, I started the, this thing out with uh, 5 watts of CW carrier and expected to see a 20 times amplification factor in about 100 watts. And uh, that's what we saw. And uh, took it up to uh, 10 watts of drive and saw about 200 watts of carrier, which is just about right. And uh, run the drive up. Now we're running this thing on undersized wire. We've got one, one number 10 uh, wire feeding this thing and a battery whose voltage is. Uh, down around 12 and uh, keying it at full power the battery voltage is going down to 11.6 so the uh, Ameritron manual says the uh, output will go down 85 watts for every volt uh, below 14 so uh, we expect to see uh, at most 350 watts uh, uh, out of this thing 
and uh, we just about get to uh, get 400 out of it if we uh, drive it with 75 or 80 watts but uh, if you take the drive any higher the output does not go up so uh, at this voltage uh, the output is uh, absolutely uh, hitting the wall we're on the uh, thousand watt scale here so there's 500 watts right there in the middle so we'll just key it up in CW and you can see what it's doing I might have taken the gain down. Let's see. Uh, hello, one, two. What we got going on? Okay, so anyway, we're hitting it with about 50 watts of sideband. Hello, one, two. Hello. So 350 watts is about the most it should do uh, with this uh, low uh, 12 with this low DC voltage feeding it. Hello, uh, and that's just about what it's doing. Oops! I just grabbed the uh, the uh, CW drive control, which is sensitive. Let's uh, let's set the CW drive here at. And he's, well, let's give it, we'll give it 50 watts for the sake of argument. Okay, now we'll turn the amplifier back on. And, wow. Oh, that was the 200 watt scale. Oh, not right. That's just not right here. What if we've overdriven it? There we go. That's as high as it's going to go, about 350-400 watts. <coughs> this thing, uh, if you overdrive it, uh, a relay will click in and turn the uh, uh, amplifier off until you cycle a switch. So I think we must have uh, overdriven it some. But uh, let's look here again on sideband. Hello, one, two. Hello, W6, WUH. So that's a little harder than I want to hit it. I think I'd rather hit it at about 30 watts. Let me readjust the game. Okay, so now we're driving it with about 35 watts sideband peak. Hello, one, two. And uh, we're driving it up to, hello, 350 watts. So that's, uh, that's quite good with low supply voltage. And uh, with this amplifier <coughs> to keep the IMD, the splatter, and the uh, general grunge down, you do not want to overdrive this amplifier. Uh, you know, you want to stay at least uh, at least 10% below uh, or 20% below what the maximum it'll, it'll do with. So, uh, with 14 and a half volts on this, you could drive this to 600 watts on peaks and I don't think you want to really be hitting it harder than uh, about 450 maybe 500 watts on an occasional peak but uh, an average around more like 400 uh, to keep it uh, to keep it clean cool and healthy I haven't seen this fan go on at all yet I've got an auxiliary fan on here and the uh, <laughs> heat sink's not warming up at all but anyway, at least on 40 meters, uh, this little uh, Ameritron uh, AL500S is uh, uh, working okay. So uh, I'm uh, I'm pleased.